Hi guys, today I am trying out some glossy sticker paper that I just got some samples of. Uh, I got it from Online Labels, which is a very popular place to get sticker paper from. Uh, it's a little more expensive than the places I usually go to, but you know, if you're selling stickers, you always want the highest quality. I've been looking for glossy sticker paper that I like for a while now, just in case I ever decide to switch to it, because you know, it does look prettier with some things. Um, the quality of the colors usually, there, there's just no way for matte to... Uh, compete with glossy on that front so I uh, ordered these samples and they just came in yesterday and I really wanted to try it out but also film the experience so um, I will leave a link to this exact uh, label for purchase and I'll also include a link for where you can go and you can request samples you can request up to three label samples of each type of label um, so I got three of their glossy for inkjet paper. Um, it did get a little beat up in travel, which I'm a bit upset about. Uh, that's not their fault. That is the postal service's fault. My my mailman who likes to just jam things into my um, into my mailbox. So I'm gonna be testing this uh, by printing out a mini kit, which takes up two pieces of paper and then a full sheet of my character stickers. I'm doing that because I wanna compare the colors with this mini kit I'm about to print with one I just printed on my matte paper. And I wanna see how it prints and how it cuts. And then I'm printing out my character stickers because my character stickers have very like fine lines and uh, like ridges. It's not like just boxes like my kits are. So it'll definitely show for me how easy it is to cut um, with this sticker paper. So I'm gonna be judging the sticker paper on four points. The first is color quality. That's why I'm printing kits that I've already made in the past so I can compare what the matte and the glossy look like. I'm going to also be comparing it on the ease of cutting. I've used glossy sticker paper before that like brings up this dust and it clogs my machine and I have to, like half the things I cut don't cut properly so I really wanna make sure that uh, that's good for me. I'll be judging it on usability. Um, that's a weird one, but it's just I've used glossy sticker paper in the past that even if it cuts fully through, it's hard to like pick up the stickers. And it's, it's a really small thing, but it's important for me to be able to easily just grab a sticker and pull up. And then the last thing I'm going to judge it on is its repositionability in the Erin Condren. I'm not expecting this to be repositionable paper, but I am gonna test this on my new Erin Condren on the paper to see how much residue it leaves behind when you like immediately pull it up. Um, honestly, if you're using glossy sticker paper or non-repositionable -position, sticker paper, you should be using like undo or something or covering it up. But I wanted to still check to see how much um, I could do with this. So I have my printer, I'm gonna go load these in. I'm going to press print. Um, but first of all, I wanna talk about, I've actually ordered this sample before, but the, the color bled, like it smudged right away. I'm really hoping that was just an issue with my old printer and not an issue with glossy sticker paper for me. So let's go ahead and print this and see how it turns out. Okay, so I'm not gonna judge any of the colors just yet because I wanna give it like a chance for me to cut it all and then pull out the comparisons to take a look at that. So um, it's time to cut them, but first I wanted to talk about what I printed. I printed a uh, mini weekly kit. This is my queen mini weekly kit. As of right now filming this, this mini kit and this entire collection hasn't been released yet, but I'm pretty sure it will have been released by the time this video goes live. As for girls, I printed my coffee stickers, my planning stickers, and my in love stickers. These are three of my favorites uh, that I don't have much of right now and I wanted to restock for myself. So these are in the shop. This one is part of my spring releases of new character stickers. I'm still working on getting some of like the last spring ones done, so it hasn't been released as of when I'm filming this again, but I will let you know either in the comments or with like some text right here whether or not this is in the shop right now. So uh, what I'm also going to do in terms of printing this, is, or in terms of cutting this, is cut it on two different types of uh, silhouette mats. So here I have, um, this is my normal mat that I use. I kept on these. So this is a light tack mat. It's, it like holds on to it, but once we start, I start cutting it sometimes moves, so I just use tape. Um, painter's tape to hold in the edges and I have to use this because the matte sticker paper I use is so light that if I use any of the regular silhouette mats it does 
this. Hold on. This is the remnants of a piece of paper I decided to try and cut with. It's almost impossible to remove. I need to get like a scraper. But uh, I use this for my die cuts because I use a high glossy sticker paper. I don't like it for stickers, but for die cuts it's perfect. So I'm going to put, and this is actually very scary for me, I'm going to put one of the mini weekly kit sheets on the really sticky oh god this is really actually scary like, i'm gonna put one of them on here to see how it handles that and then i'm gonna put the rest on my other one so i'm gonna set these all up and then uh get to cutting so i'm gonna do this one on the this mat because the ones with all of the girl stickers and the um the deco are the ones that always need the most tape so I just line it up with the edges. I would prefer to use these mats, the high stick mats for everything, but uh, the fact that um, they just rip up my paper makes it impossible because this just takes extra effort. So I'm gonna clean up the last one. I just finished cutting some orders. Okay, so these are ready to go. I'm gonna go stick them in my silhouette and get to cutting. So just for reference, this is my Silhouette cutting machine. I took off the lid of it because it was just getting in the way. Down here is where my printer is. Those are all my Oops stickers that I give away in orders. And it's time to cut. So first, let me get the light set up. And I'm going to grab my blade. And I'm going to clean it out just to make sure um, there's like no residue or anything in there. Okie dokie, so I'm going to grab the full boxes sheet. should probably turn it on. Okay, so before I get to cutting the whole thing, I have to figure out which cut settings work best. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the first full box uh, to test that. So I took my uh, settings for my remo removable matte sticker paper and I just upped them a teensy bit. So um, that is the blade is on one, speed I always keep at eight, and then I have the force at 10. So let's try um, sending this through and see if that works. And I'm just cutting the first full box. Okay, that was nowhere near enough. So I just kept the blade at one, speed is still eight, and I bumped up the force to 17. Okay, so it did cut through, but I'm gonna check on this full box to see whether the reason it cut through is because 17 actually works or because it had already had a cut before it. So, on to more testing. Okay guys, I did it. I found a setting that works. Um, so we're gonna stick with that. So again, it's blade one, speed eight, force 17. So I'm going to quickly remove the cut lines for those two full boxes that I already cut right there. And then I'm gonna cut the rest of this page. Okay, so before we pull these up, I did bring out my blade. Um, I cleaned it right beforehand, and looking at it now, I don't know how well you can tell, but there is a lot of like debris in there. So this is one of those that I would have to, between cutting like every two or three pages, have to clean this out. Um, that's not terrible, but you know, 
So we're going to do this one last because that's the one with the sticky one. So um, for the outside settings to cut like the outside box, I put it on um, same still, the blade at one, the speed at eight, and the force I bumped up to the maximum of 33 and I had to double cut it. Um, it did an okay job. Um, these remnants on here are just something that happens when you have the pages so close to each other. But let's go ahead and peel off the rest of these. Um, so yeah, the, these came off pretty easily. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring out that last sheet. Um, and I'm going to pull off the outside edge because I think that will be the easiest way to do this. Okay. So now it's all about pulling these stickers off of the sticky sheet without a... Uh, having serious issues with it. So what I always do is I flip this over and instead of peeling the sticker up because that's going to curl the sticker a lot, I curl the um, the mat back. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. Okay, so there were some places where I, it cut a little too deep and I'll have to take a look as to why because that's like cut all the way through and that's not what I want but other than that that was really easy to pull off so let's go ahead and judge these stickers so on the cutability of them how easy it is to use them in the silhouette I'm I'm gonna I'm it's it's pretty easy um, once I figured out the cut settings and you guys saw me playing around with those that was great um, and it, it worked pretty well across all of these so far as I can tell talking about the peeling off of the sticker paper from my big mat I liked it it didn't damage any of the paper and when I say it damages my paper on my matte paper I mean it destroys the paper and it destroys the sticker I wish I had some nearby but they were all thrown away so honestly I'm very very happy about that so now we are going to I will I'm going to pull out my um, queen mini kit on matte and some of my character stickers so we can compare colors okay so I pulled some out so let's start with the kit I'll move all the character stickers out of the way so um I have this in its cello because I was getting ready to uh, film my new releases and I like them to be in their cello, so. So, um, let's go just page by page. That's, I think, the simplest way to do it. So, front page. Um, I really think the similarity and, like, the, the color is just... A big ol' plus to the sticker paper and the what I use, the mat I use, but um, you can definitely see, so where can you see it best? The pixelation. Let me find it. I mean, even in like the the purse up here, you can see a bit, a lot more pixelation than you can see here. Um, like both are pretty good quality in terms of like the image, but this definitely brings out the image a lot better. Um, here's our washi page. Again, it's just like the, the pixelation of the image that's just, you, you're gonna get that with matte paper. Let's take a look at the colors, because I think it's the intensity of the colors that's really going to, um, so you can't see it as well because of the bright light, but this light gray color looks much better in glossy. Although I would say this like peachy, orangey color looks better in matte. But this color right here looks better in glossy. This is a pretty good comparison you can do. Yeah. I mean, they're pretty similar colors. So I'm pretty impressed with my um, matte paper in that regard. So that's, it's good to know for me personally that my matte paper still, like, the, the picture shows up still pretty nice. Um, so there's that. And now let's take a look at the character stickers. So I pulled these out of my personal collection. That's why there are stickers missing. So let's go sticker by sticker. And I'm going to zoom in. So right off the bat, um, you can tell by... So on the cover of that planner that she's holding, it says Planner Girl. It's pic very pixelated here and harder to read. And you can read it great here. And then you can see in her hair, you can really see like a lot of the finer details. Um, and I thought this really would be where it comes out the most. And then her skin is looks a lot lighter than it does here which I don't know why that's very interesting because that's not just the light that's just 
No, that's just straight up what it looks like. But I really like the details you can see in the hair because, you know, a lot of thought and effort was put into those details. So then we have the Coffee Girl. Let's see if there's... the These colors are just much lighter in general. Um, I don't know why that is. I'll take a look at the images to see maybe I modified them, but you can just tell a lot more of the details and the glossy, especially in her hair. Let's take a look at the In Love stickers. So, um, again, the lighters are, the colors are lighter, and I think that has to do with the fact that, I don't know why, honestly, these are the correct colors, not the ones that print on matte. Um, but you can see, like, the shine in the Be Mine stickers, like that back shadow, and again, the details in her hair. And then lastly, we have the Happy Mail stickers. I have not released these yet um, because they're just not ready to go. So I just printed these for my personal use because I couldn't help myself. So there's nothing to compare them to. I promise I am almost done. I am now going to grab my planner and I'm going to try to stick these stickers down and pull them back up. I am not going to stick any of the stickers from the mini kit. I might try to like play around with some of the deco to see how well it cut, but I want to be able to either use this mini kit or give it away or something. So here is my planner. Let's grab a blank week. Cause... Okay, oopsies, my charm got stuck in there. Oh, there's some sticker on here. Okay. So, let's go ahead and use these Be Mine sheets. So, I'm going to grab this lovely lady. Okay, so that came off the paper amazing. Like, easier than my mat. Okay. So I'm just going to let those sit there for a second while I try to pull up the rest of these stickers to see how that did. Oh, wow. Let's pull up a small one. That's so smooth. I know this is really weird, but how did she cut? That's so beautiful. I know I'm wasting stickers, and I'm sorry. So these have been sitting here for a while I've smushed them down so when I pull up my stickers they're removable matte they do curl and they do lose some of their stickiness but there is no residue and they're easy to pick up let's see how these suckers do okay so they did pull up some of the paper while also leaving some residue so um, but honestly like you can't tell uh, and they do curl but that's just what stickers do when you pull them up okay we're gonna try one last thing And let's say I changed my mind about its location. Okay, so not terrible. So one of the biggest issues I have with my removable stickers is they're removable, not repositionable. So some when I pull them up, if I if they lose a, uh, like a lot of their stickability, they're just not going to stick back down anywhere, and I've like lost a sticker, which is okay if I'm using like multicolor or like things where I have a lot of them. But when I'm using a kit and there's only one full box. It gets pretty annoying. Okie dokie. So I'm going to set this aside and we are going to talk price point. Okay guys, now time for some math. So um, let's, I did some math just to show you guys. So first let's talk about my removable matte sticker paper. The reason I'm able to offer kits for as cheap as I am is because I try to um, get material that's both good quality but also um, like cost effective. So my matte sticker paper for 100 stickers, uh, sticker papers costs $23.99 and I get it from a source where I get free shipping which means that the cost of each page of stickers is .2399. That means my mini kits, uh, just the sticker paper, this doesn't include like ink and the art and all of the shipping stuff and the work. Uh, so the mini kits are .4798 cents for the sticker paper and the vertical kits .956. So the glossy sticker paper I just showed you is $49.95 plus there is shipping cost. I don't know if maybe I order a ton I get free shipping, but there is a shipping charge. This is what it costs for one page if you just consider the cost of the paper, but I consider the cost of the shipping of the paper as a part of like my sticker cost. So um, I'm just going to focus on the bottom row, but in case you wanted to just see the top row. So that means it's 0.549 per page. My mini kits end up being that price per um, this for the sticker paper, and then my vertical kits this price. 
I put the percentages, that's a 229.7% increase in the cost of the sticker paper. So I think for me what that would mean if I wanted to uh, sell these and keep glossy stickers in my shop, I could not keep them at the $10 price that I have them at um, to like make it fit in line with everything else I have. I would have to use, or I'd have to make it um, a $20 kit, like the full vertical kit, but I'm not comfortable with that price, so I would probably try to price it between $15 to $20, kind of thing in like an $18 kit. Uh, that would mean that if somebody chooses glossy, I don't make as much revenue on that as I would a matte kit, but I know glossy is popular. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and forgetting the price, talk about the things that I wanted to judge this sticker, pa sticker paper on. So the first is the color quality. Um, I think it's good. It's not a bad color quality, but it's not as like, I, I thought it'd be kind of like life changing because I was thinking that my matte stickers weren't an awesome quality, but they, they honestly really are comparatively like these definitely have better saturation of the colors and like the images show up better, but I, I'm happy with my matte like quality. Um, then it's the ease of cutting the stickers and that is uh, amazing it was very easy to cut once I figured out the settings and um, it didn't leave a huge amount of residue behind in terms of uh, usability like being able to easily pull up the stickers you guys saw like this was so easy it comes off nice and cleanly I have a clean cut in there and the stickers just feel nice and in terms of repositionability, it's not great. It doesn't leave behind. Like, it doesn't pull up the sticker paper in my Erin Condren, but um, they're glossy stickers. They're not meant to be repositionable. All in all, this is definitely a top contender if I decide to start carrying glossy stickers. Um, I am going to go ahead and try to sample some more sticker papers from different places. So if you have a place that you know sells sticker paper, um, that you would like me to review I will do my best to get some samples so I can try it out and hopefully by the end of this year I can get some glossy stickers in my shop as well other than that thank you guys so much for joining me I'll make sure to link as much stuff as I can down below which includes my removable matte sticker paper this sticker paper the link where you can find um, how to order samples of this sticker paper I'll include information about my pr which printer I use and then also instant ink instant ink is how I pay for my ink and it is the most cost-effective method I have found so far other than that leave any questions you have down below I would love to uh, answer anything I can just because I'd rather you um, watch some videos to learn about these things rather than spend your own money if you do not have to all right again thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye